Hey guys, what's up? It's Eli Knight with Knight Jiu Jitsu. I'm here with Alan. And if you watched over the weekend, uh, Master Henzo Gracie returned to MMA with an awesome fight versus Yuki Kondo in the 1FC. And I want to do like a short breakdown because um, this one segment out of it was just like textbook how he went in. He managed the distance. He shot in uh, for a single, transition to the back, took him down, rear choke. So we're going to show this as a, kind of a breakdown. So uh, Henzo was doing a fantastic job. He was going orthodox versus southpaw with Yuki Ando. So whenever he would enter in, he would come in with like a short flurry here this way and get him to cover. And so he was leading, he was leading off of a lunging lead hook. So he would come in here, bang, throw a couple punches and then back out so that he didn't ever stay in that pocket for too long. So he kept him on the, on the alert the whole time. So whenever then finally he decided to shoot, he, he shot in this way here and he was shooting to the outside since it was orthodox versus softball. And he shot in on the single here. As he comes in, he's gonna try to stand up and try to finish the single to the outside. But if you'll notice here, that he starts to hook in to like, uh, Yuki was trying to hit a switch on him, which is good defense. So uh, off of that, Henzo then turns the corner does this and gets to the back and establishes his seatbelt. Now, whenever he established the seatbelt, rather than just trying to drag him down or doing like a valley drop, he took this outside leg here, this way, and he puts this, wedges this in between and hooks. So it's going around the hip behind the leg here. And this creates a ton of leverage and it's like a pry bar in between the hips. And then he's gonna go from here and drag the back this way. Now, once he hit like this, he still has a seatbelt going, but then he comes through, he gets a second hook inside and then from here, he starts throwing a couple shots. What happens, what this makes Yuki Ando do, is he covers, but he also posts up on his elbow on this side. Once he does that, now Henzo's able to pull this out and then shoot for a regular kind of seatbelt. Now there's some hand fighting going on like this, but once in a while, he's coming here like this. He doesn't want any more of these shots, and so he starts trying to trap this hand. That allows Henzo the, the ability to come here and start walking this hand up, and then he's gonna come inside like this, pull this hand free and he's gonna go for a short choke. So instead of the traditional here, like full on rear naked choke, he's gonna go in here palm to palm and then put that arm behind the back and then he finishes here with the choke. So it was really nice to see him maintain that distance to be able to go, uh, to go in with a little flurry, step back out. And so he keeps him on the alert and then whenever he shoots in, he latches onto that single, he goes for the switch, he transitions to the back as a takedown, works to the back. Gets him to cover, free the arms, and then go in for that short choke, modified rear naked choke. So beautiful job by Master Henzo Gracie. A great representation of Gracie Jiu Jitsu. And so check that fight out if you haven't yet at 1FC. Keep watching Night Jiu Jitsu guys and Aperture Fight Focused.